Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss in brief about the cement and manufacturing of Portland cement by rotary kin process. So initially moving to the cement, any material possessing adhesive and cohesive properties which is capable of binding materials like stones and bricks is called cement. Coming to the major constituents of the cement, generally it includes lime, silica, alumina, magnesia, iron oxide, sulfur trioxide and alkali oxides. The major constituents are lime, silica, alumina and magnesia. So coming to the manufacturing of Portland cement by rotary kin process, it involves four major steps. The first step is mixing of the raw materials. So it can be done by dry process or wet process. Coming to the second step, it involves burning of the raw material. Usually it is done in the rotary kin. Third process is grinding and it is followed by packing. So coming to the second step, which is called as the burning of the raw materials and that can be done by using rotary kin. So initially the raw material is introduced into the rotary kin which is inclined for about 5 to 6 degrees and this rotary kin can be divided into three important zones. First one is called as drying zone. The upper zone is called as the drying zone where 400 degree centigrade is maintained. The middle zone is called as the calcination zone where limestone decomposes to form quick lime and carbon dioxide. The lower zone is called as the clinkering zone. Here very high temperatures like 1500 to 1700 degree centigrade will be maintained. Here the lime and clay will be converted into aluminates and silicates. Finally, it results in the formation of clinkers. So, with the help of rotary kin process, it is possible to manufacture clinkers. So, let us see what are the reactions taking place in the rotary kin. Here, rotary kin is divided into three important zones. The first zone is called as the drying zone. So the upper part of the kin is called as the drying zone where 400 degrees centigrade is maintained. So here the most of the water from this slurry will be evaporated. Second zone is called as the calcination zone. It is the central part of the kin where 1000 degrees centigrade will be maintained. Here mainly limestone will be converted into quick lime and carbon dioxide that means the limestone undergoes decomposition to form quick lime and carbon dioxide and the final one the lower part of the kin is called as the clinkering zone here the lime and clay undergo chemical interactions and that results in the formation of aluminates and silicates together called as the clinkers So here in the lower part of the kin the lime and silica undergo interaction and that results in the formation of calcium silicate. Calcium and alumina undergo interaction and that results in the formation of calcium aluminate. So in that way it results in the formation of clinkers. In the third step that means the clinkers are cooled and they are ground to a fine powder in ball mills. During the grinding process itself, a small amount of the gypsum powder will be added. So, to the fine powder of the clinkers, gypsum will be added. Then it results in the formation of an insoluble compound that is called as the cement. Finally, it will be packed automatically by using automatic packing machines in silones. Each bag contains 
50 kg of the cement. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.